Welcome to Cape Chronicle. I'm Mike Rennick. Professor Mike Simmons speaks to us on behalf of the Holland College of Arts and Media to discuss events for the upcoming year. Mike, welcome. Thank you, Mike. Good to be here. Very good to see you. I, I'm a little partial to this one, you know, being a media guy myself. I understand. Yeah. So I, I, I like that we're going to do a little focus on uh, on this college. Excellent. Uh, I know it's, Excellent. it's keeping you busy, isn't it? Yes. Um, the world of media is dynamic, fluid. Tons Absolutely. going on. And uh, at Southeast, we've got a lot going on for students, driven by students. Um, it, it's, a, it's an amazing, energetic environment. I was, uh, I was on the cmo.edu website and looking mm -hmm. through some of the, the offerings, you know, of the media mm -hmm. college and, you know, awards after awards and, and uh, you know, high praise for, you know, newspaper and, and obviously the river campus. I mean, oh. just some amazing things going on. You know, you've got uh, four different departments in that college. So it's art and design. So okay. students are learning how to create much of what we see in the world. You have uh, the Dobbins Conservatory of Theater and Dance where you have students that are delivering world-class performances in a world-class facility. What a fantastic opportunity. A, a huge department of music and the department of arts and media. So what we have is a collection of these really creative individuals that all kind of, uh, well, there's a lot of synergy that they, they all help to drive each other in this new media world that we have, in this world of performance and creativity. So it's an exciting place to be. And you're on the advertising side? Is I'm, that on, yeah, I'm an advertising guy in okay. the mass media side. Okay. Uh, but we do an awful lot of work uh, within the college with uh, the other departments. Uh, so it's a, it's a great collaborative environment there. Well, you mentioned uh, a lot of the different uh, co the events and colleges, oh. and I don't want to miss out on being able to talk about <laughs> <laughs> the many things that are going on. Oh, Mike, it's a long list. It's, these it's, students, it's, it's, it's pages. These students are <laughs> busy every day producing phenomenal performances, entertainment, media content. It's incredible. Uh, I just left a meeting, and, and some of our media students are going to be working on a national level promotional campaign for a client. It's, you know, here in Cape Girardeau at Southeast Missouri State University, our students get access to national and world level experiences yeah that's fantastic yeah so i know we've got a laundry list. we do we have a, we have a laundry list these are these are uh, events in the holland college at the river campus yes um the 25th annual clark terry jazz festival february the second phenomenal so first of all 25 years of amazing jazz performances any kind of music you want to listen to you're going to find it at the river campus but this jazz festival is phenomenal uh, Andre Hayward is, is a world-renowned trombo, jazz trombonist, and he's well-known for his clarity and tone. So he'll be the featured uh, performer here. Faculty and students will be able to, to have master classes and work with a very high-level professional. He's also going to be performing at Spectrum Record Lounge and at Scout Hall. Wow. And I believe those are open performances. If people in the community want to sit in with a jazz pro, I how often do you get to do Doesn't that? Get much better it's, than that. It's does incredible. It? And this, and he's been. This is his second yes, time. Yes, second back? time, second time back. So we know he's dynamite. Yeah, fan, and that's again February the second. February second. Yep. Um, the world premiere of our play on February the twenty eighth. Yes. So um, this is a piece that was selected from last summer's Lamford Wilson New American Play Festival. There were over eight hundred plays submitted. Okay. So the competition is fierce, and this is one that was in the five featured readings for summer. So it's known for its strong role for college-age students, and the playwright will be here working with faculty and students as well. So again, hmm. as much contact as we can get between students and professionals, the better. All right, let's move on to a night with Cedric the Entertainer, a SEMO grad. A SEMO grad out of the mass media department, That's right. a TV and film guy. Yeah. You might have heard of Cedric the Entertainer. Maybe so. Maybe, I don't know, on a regular TV show, maybe <laughs> in movies, maybe in comedy performances. Cedric will be here doing a benefit show. It will benefit the uh, Department of Mass Media and Southeast Missouri State University. And so, of course, we're, we're delighted to have oh, yeah. one of our own back who yeah. has achieved phenomenal success so we're really looking forward to that that'll be march 23rd march and that's the show me center yes that'll be a larger event so you might want to get those tickets soon that's right that's 7 30 on mm -hmm. uh, on march 23rd and fault line film festival ah. is also in march also in march this is i think almost our 15th year for the fault line film festival now this is a student film festival okay 
that has a, a large regional draw. So these are students, writers and directors and, and filmmakers who are submitting their work at that level. So if you want to see the next Steven Spielberg, this is a place to come do it. Uh, and I've been fortunate enough to go the last couple of years. Uh, the level of work that these young professionals, I don't even like to call them students, they're young professionals. Sure, absolutely. The level of work they can produce is phenomenal and it's very inspiring. Uh, and it's another opportunity where we get a lot of cross collaboration. So advertising and PR students will help to promote Fault Line Film Festival. The film festival itself is shared between the Department of Mass Media and theater and dance. So we have theater students working with TV and film students. And again, it's that kind of creative gumbo that we that's like to see synergy between there. the whole. Absolutely. And that's March 20 through the 23rd? Yes. Um, yes. Okay, so with all of these, if, and, and there's more. I mean, we're, we're trying to, we're kind of cherry picking. Yeah, we're cherry picking. You know? <laughs> Go to rivercampus.org for a long list. Okay. And you'll find an event that you'd like to be at. And, and if you want tickets for some of these. A couple ways to do it. Okay. So, um, a guy like me probably would rather go by the box office, yeah. nine to four on weekdays. Yeah. Maybe I'll call, and you can find that number online. You can also purchase tickets online. Okay. Uh, so there's several different ways to buy tickets for any of these events there. All right, so rivercampus.org for more information. Uh, go by the box office. That's uh, another way, good. Um, okay, as we wrap things up here, mm -hmm. it, it, it is hard to not feel your energy. <laughs> Well, you, I appreciate you, you that. You are energized about what's happening here. I'm energized because of the students. Right. That's where the energy comes from. When I see young students becoming professionals and working on their craft, how can you, you not be inspired and enthused? So, it, it, yeah, it does. It gives me a lot of energy to see what they can do. And we work very hard to give them every opportunity to practice that craft and to develop as young professionals so that they're ready to convert college into career. Absolutely, and I think uh, you, like myself, have seen how things have grown so oh. much over the years, so uh, the, the I, I get the energy. Right, the opportunities that they have now. I mean, we live in a world where you can produce content from the phone in your pocket. Anybody can be a content producer, so these students have vastly expanded opportunities to, to practice their craft and produce content, and it's exciting to be involved in it. Mike, thank you so much. Thank you. Coming up next, Mayor Stacy Kinder with the City of Cape on Cape Chronicle.